We're here at one of my favorite resorts and my favorite part of my favorite resort, the Grand Destino Tower at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort and Convention Center. And we're here tonight to check out Toledo, which I have not been to um, in a while. The last time I was here, the entree was, um, I think the cauliflower under a brick situation. So I know the main entree has changed. There's a new dessert. So I'm excited to try it all and see if it's worth recommending to you guys. This used to be one of my um, top spots to recommend for like a date night or, you know, a very romantic celebratory dinner type place because the view here is just so beautiful. I think only uh, Grand, Grand Californian, wow, wrong coast. Only California Grill rivals the view. Um, Topolino's is nice too, but I really think this place is beautiful all around you and we're gonna be here for sunset, so I'm gonna get some pretty sunset photos also, hopefully, or video. And uh, yeah, so stay with us and we're gonna try it all and I'm gonna rate everything at the end, so make sure you stay till the end to get our new ratings on all of the table service places here at Walt Disney World. except for the olives, which I'm not an olive person, so I'm sorry, I'm not gonna try those for you guys, but you know, they're olives, so whatever. Um, <laughs> also, I got the tequila daisy, which I've had here before and I really enjoy, and I just checked and both types of alcohol in there are vegans. I'm excited to have that again. It's uh, basically Don Julio tequila, orange liqueur, hibiscus, grapefruit and soda water so it's very refreshing a little bit sweet it's very good but I'm excited to try these this is just crushed tomatoes garlic and a little bit of salt on lovely rustic bread you really just can't beat it this is so good I'm very excited It's basically just um, super fresh, fresh tomato, a little bit of garlic and salt. I will say, I think the one at Haleo is a little bit better. Um, I need to do a pan con tomate roundup, but now they don't have it at Three Bridges anymore, so it's only here and at Haleo, but I remember really liking it there too. But this is still really good. So definitely give this a try when you come. Our entrees and sides have arrived. So this is the mezcla de verduras, which is gigante bean silk, which is what this part is here, I think. Seasonal garden vegetables. It looks like there's some different colors of cauliflower, onions, some asparagus, um, some yellow tomatoes, it looks like, and some orange peel over there. And then patatas bravas, which is exciting. I don't know where that, oh, I guess maybe these are the potatoes in here. Um, oh, carrot romesco, that's what this is, carrot romesco. So somewhere in here is the silk bean stuff. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna dig in. I don't really know what's what. These are definitely those trumpet mushrooms, which I'm not a huge fan of, but that's okay. Here's the potato. So I'm gonna try that with some of the silken uh, gigante beans, so. It's really good, it's like a, a smoky paprika type flavor. Um, but it's a good potato. I wish there was like 20 of these potatoes. It looks like there's three. So, but that's fun. Uh, let me try a bit of cauliflower here. And some romesco sauce. 
The Romesco is also super smoky flavored. It's really full of flavor though. I honestly have almost no memory of the cauliflower before, but I remember not being super excited by it. This is actually something I would come back for. The flavors are really delicious, and yeah, especially if they're gonna switch up the vegetables. I don't know what this little situation is over here. I don't know, but it was good. It kind of tastes a little nutty. Maybe that has more almonds in it, because Romesco does have almond puree in it. I'll have to ask what that is, but it was really good. So this is a winner in my book. Um, this is the side of Brussels sprouts, which look very um, like braised and good and crispy, perhaps. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and try one of those. It comes with a little spoon, so you can like share the sides if you wanted to. I remember loving these before. It's just salt is like pretty much the only seasoning, but it's so good. and they're cooked to perfection. Um, the other sides that we did not get are more of the gigante beans, um, which we, we got those last time. They're in like a tomato sauce, and then um, the shishito peppers, yes, which we got those last time too, and they were okay, but you know, I'm not gonna go out of my way for this. This is the tomato, roasted tomato bombas rice, which is new since we were here, because I didn't get this last time but I'm just gonna dig in. It tastes like I thought it would taste. It's like rice with, you know, a hint of tomato, very like Spanish rice. There's no peas or anything in it though. Oh yeah. If you feel like you need a little bit more starch or something more than your entree, I would recommend that, but I would definitely come back for the entree and the Brussels sprouts. Really good. Now I have to remember what's in this. There is caramel on the plate, candied hazelnuts, a boule bananas, and then this is a chocolate ganache torte, which is a really fun shape also. And then this is um, frozen coconut dessert, which is just like so pure white. It's very beautiful. So very excited. This is pretty new, probably a couple of weeks now it's been here and I've heard great reviews, so. Plus, I love chocolate, so. Yeah, this is very good. Mm, there's like a little um, crust on the bottom, probably hazelnuts also from the taste of it. If you like chocolate, you need to come here for this. Oops, sorry. I don't know why I started talking when I ate it. It's super, super rich, decadent. I'm gonna try the coconut. I mean, this is almost like powdery. It's a strange consistency. It almost just tastes like um, frozen coconut whipped cream. Like it doesn't have the creaminess of an ice cream. Like it's not really melting, so I don't know how they're making it, but it's good. Some caramel. Wow. I mean, okay. I love hazelnuts and chocolate, so this is like perfection to me. But let me try the banana too. I gotta just try everything. The banana is great too, it just adds to it. But if you like, um, or liked back in the day, if you were ever eating these, uh, Ferrero Rocher, Similar flavor profile to that, but then add bananas and this coconut. It's really, really, really good. So if you wanna come here and have um, some drinks and dessert, I think this would be worth visiting for that. But the entree was also great, and the Brussels sprouts were really good too. So, and the pan con tomat. So it's a good spot still. It's a good date night place. I'm gonna eat all of this. We're back in the beautiful lobby of Grandestino Tower. We just had our lovely dinner at Toledo and I just wanna go over some things. It's a little more quiet out here um, than it was in the restaurant. But we had a wonderful time. The views were beautiful. You can actually see the um, 
Luminous, it's called now, in Epcot. The fireworks were happening. You can kind of peer over uh, the edge of the balcony at the Dahlia Lounge to see those fireworks, and they piped the music in, so that was fun. But let's go over our ratings for the um, entire experience at Toledo. This is a signature dining location, uh, so keep that in mind. If you're doing the dining plan, that is two credits. So first we're going to talk about theming, and for this, I am going to give it a five. Now, some of you may be wondering, what is the theme? There's no theming, but there's actually, if you are interested in the details and the story behind this particular resort itself, the tower here, um, there is a whole storyline behind it from Walt when he met Salvador Dali and uh, the inspiration of all of the things that they actually tried to work on a thing together, which they did, called Destino. It was never released. Now you can actually view it on... Can you get it on Disney Plus, I think? It's on Disney Plus. They used to play it in the lobby here, but now Pluto is playing. So maybe they do it certain hours or it's on the other side. Anyway, it's a very surrealist, um, you know, interesting piece of art. And I love it, and I love uh, the connection that they have. We actually saw a whole exhibit on them when they were at the um, St. Petersburg Museum of Art. Or I guess, no, that was the Dali Museum. Sorry, my bad. Anyway, if you know those details, then you can see that all throughout the resort, there are little nods to Destino itself. And the Dahlia Lounge is a full tribute to um, Destino. The, little shapes of the bells as part of the animation, the blowing the dandelions and the little, the lady's face. It's just, so you can enjoy and experience all of that, that theming and those details. If you don't know anything about it and you didn't listen to anything I just said, and you can just say, wow, it's really pretty here. It's very beautiful. So the theming is there if you want to find out about it. So it gets a five from me. Um, next up, the atmosphere and ambiance. Now, I said in the beginning that this is one of my favorite places to recommend for a date night or a celebratory dinner because it's just so beautiful. Like, you can see the lights behind me. Uh, Toledo is more of that, and the roof, there's the beautiful um, different colored lights that change color throughout the evening. They go from oranges to pinks to reds. It's just beautiful. And you've got the huge floor to ceiling windows to see the theme park side and the resort side. It's just gorgeous. You can't beat the ambiance here. And there's like trees inside. There's olive trees in the restaurant, beautiful display of wine. So it's definitely a five for atmosphere and ambiance as well. Um, next up, service and accommodation. So I mentioned in the, um, the first time we did these ratings in the Brown Derby that accommodations for me is if you ask if they can do any other off-menu items that are vegan, um, they could not hear, so it's just what's on the menu. Um, so for that reason, the service was great. We had a super great server and everything was wonderful, but I'm just gonna give them a four because of there's nothing else that you can get off-menu. Uh, next up, food portion size, quality, and flavor. That is also gonna get a four. I think the entree that they give you is a lot of different vegetables and it's a good size, but I feel like the portion could be a little more. They could give you some more of the uh, potatoes in there. The side items, the Brussels sprouts and the rice, those were a great size. And the pan con tomate, I feel like if you were getting that for a large table of people, there's only like four slices of the bread. So they could probably, you know, it's just bread and tomatoes. They could give you a few more of those. Uh, so I'm gonna give that a four as well. The quality and the flavors were really great as well. Um, so yeah, that's a four. And then lastly, the price. So this, when Toledo opened, there was a big, uh, well, actually the second menu they had was the cauliflower. And people were kind of up in arms about the cauliflower being, I think, $34. And then they lowered the price to $30 because people were complaining so much, I think. Um, it's still $30 for the vegan entree, which is also the same price as the chicken. However, we don't get a real main protein. There is some, you know, bean puree and a lot of vegetables, but it's not really a main protein item. There's no tofu or anything like that. 
Um, so for that reason, I'm giving the um, price rating a three. I think they could either give you a protein option or give you some more or something like that to live up to those um, prices. Uh, that's about it for the ratings. I think overall, I definitely recommend Toledo. I think the new entree, new to me anyways, um, was delicious. I would definitely come back and get it again for, again, like a celebratory dinner. And the new dessert was just unbelievable and definitely worth a trip. Like I would come back here for Brussels sprouts and the dessert and call it a night um, any day of the week. Let me know if you have tried Toledo or if you plan to and uh, what your favorite items are if you do. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and give it a like and subscribe for more vegan Disney food videos. Thank you so much for watching Vegan Disney Food, your plant-based guide to the magic.